So let's dig into these components with a little bit more detail. When we're talking about SQL Server 2012, you start with where is the data coming from? How are we bringing this data together so we can take full advantage of SQL Server 2012? The fact is, most of you are upgrading existing systems. You may not be a purely Microsoft shop. You may have more than SQL Server within your environment, and you need to be able to access all of your various data sources together as a part of the process. So we'll be looking at all three of these major areas, integration services, master data services, and data quality services over the next 10 or 15 minutes. We'll start off with our integration services. When we're working with integration services, the idea here is, again, a full enterprise level ETL tool, extract, transform, load environment that allows us to have the flexibility of managing any amount of data from any number of sources into our data warehouse, which of course Microsoft would like you to do within SQL Server. Go figure, right? <laughs> now, within SSIS, they've got a number of new features that I just want to briefly touch on as we go forward. SSIS as a tool has always been about how do I control the process of moving data from a variety of sources into my data warehouse. And so they've got a whole new toolbox that includes new tools as well as links to samples, links to descriptions, a much better explanation of how all the different tools work so that those of you who are getting started in the environment won't be shooting blindly. One of the best features, and I personally can't believe it took them this long to put it in there because they have it everywhere else, is that your SQL Server integration services environment now has undo and redo. And you're saying, undo, redo, that seems like such a simple thing. I know, but let me tell you, it was not there, and not having undo is a painful, painful thing. Not being able to go in and bring back something you accidentally deleted with all of its settings. So they've got a robust undo, redo, they've got robust scripting so you can integrate code into your SSIS packages, and it's using the new SQL Server Data Tools Designer, which is a much more full-scale Visual Studio environment supporting all of .NET 4.0 that's going to, that gives you tools for handling the actual building of your SSIS packages. And one of the other nice features in this new design environment is auto-save and recovery. So you don't have to remember to always go save. It's saving things as you go forward. Now, one of the other important new features that's under-noticed, if you will, is the idea of the SSIS catalog. In all prior versions of SQL Server, when you built packages, they were stored completely separate from the database that you're working with. They were apart. They were part of the MSDB or part of the file system. You didn't have a good way of managing them as a part of a single deployable solution. The SSIS catalog now allows for hosting of your packages as a part of your SQL Server environment with direct interaction with the packages through stored procedures and T-SQL. That means I can now write procedures that actually launch SSIS packages which gives us a huge amount of flexibility in creating integrated management as a part of our SQL scripting language. Some of the other things that are a part of this catalog, we have better connection management. We can get rid of some of the core features that we had before that include needing external configuration files. We can pass parameters directly into our SSIS packages through our stored procedure interface. So I can now write a stored procedure that is going to call a package, use special functions to pass the parameters into that package when I'm calling it, and I can make all of that dynamic. And our last piece for our catalog here, they have provided a dashboard for managing the packages themselves. They have performance reports that are much more extensive than anything before, so you can see how each of your packages is behaving, as well as better built-in error message handling. Now, as I said, 
because they've incorporated this idea of managing your packages through the catalog, we now have T-SQL APIs, .NET interfaces, and ways of directly, as developers, for those of you who are programmers out there, we now have the ability to directly interact with these packages. We don't have to rely on flimsy schedules that are being set up as part of jobs. We can directly call them as part of our external applications, directly call them as part of integrated maintenance plans. Again, a much wider set of flexibilities within the SSIS world.